Hello and welcome to the news in English live from Mogadishu with me I am Omar Nur the top headline news include Fila Somalia has given the media more details about the recent visit by Somali president to Egypt Somali prime minister has held a meeting with the president of the country on the formation of the new cabinet ministries Kenya has dispatched new police officers to Somalia to boost the security in the country Ethiopian regional state president has announced that the government will create a security buffer zone in Somalia after Al Shabaab attack Somali government said it will continue to maintain the neutral position on the dispute over the Nile Dam between Ethiopia, Sudan and Egypt. We also watch that the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia has begun his visit to France. Welcome back to the news in detail. Somalia said on Wednesday that it stands impartial regarding the Nile Dam dispute between Egypt, Sudan and Ethiopia. As you know, the Nile River doesn't pass through Somalia and the country's position is neutral. Presidential spokesperson Abdelkrim Ali Kar has told the reporters during a press conference in Mogadishu on Wednesday as he urged the countries to find a peaceful resolution to sharing water resources. Carr also denied that Somalia is siding with Egypt on long-standing Ethiopia's grand Renaissance Nile Dam dispute with Sudan and uh, also Ethiopia. The remarks were made on the day after the Somali president, His Excellency Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, has returned from a trip to Egypt where he discussed bilateral relations on the Horn of African crisis with his counterpart Abdel Fattah al Sisi in Cairo. Al Sisi said Egypt will support Somalia in the education and uh, fight against uh, terrorism but Egyptian media said the two leaders also discussed uh, the Nile dispute and uh, highlighted the danger of unilateral policies when implementing the projects on the transponder rivers. Somalia has uh, dismissed uh, the claims by the Egyptian uh, media outlets that the president of the country has discussed uh, with Al Sisi on issues about the dispute over the Nile Dam. Somalia is awaiting uh, to hear announcement uh, by the Prime Minister about the Cabinet Ministries for a longer time. Somali Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Barra is facing uh, pressure over the appointment of the new government uh, as the deadline for the 30 days has passed and the Parliament has given him more 10 days uh, to form a new inclusive cabinet. The Prime Minister has held a meeting with the President uh, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed at the Presidential Palace on Wednesday following his consultation meeting with civil society groups on the formation of their administration. Barra briefed the President about the selecting an incl inclusive and quality government that can respond to the priority issues for the development of the Somali community, the Office of the Prime Minister said in a Facebook post. On Tuesday, Somali Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Barra has held separate meetings with women 
business leaders and religious leaders to discuss the strengthening of their role in the governance of peace and reconciliation in Somalia. The Prime Minister said he listened to the women's group suggestions regarding the formation of the government at the same time he and the business community discussed the role of the entrepreneurs in the developing the economy and strengthening the security in Somalia. Barwe urged the business leaders to continue supporting the new government to assist in tackling the drought in the country that affected more than 7 million people, half of the population uh, since last year. Somali parliament has demanded on Monday that the Prime Minister Abdi, Hamza Abdi Barwe select his cabinet within 10 more days he's given. Uh, Barwe was expected to name his cabinet by Monday, which marked 30 days after his appointment. Uh, but he said he is still seeking consultation and speaking with candidates in his office. Kenya has sent more troops to Somalia to boost security in the neighboring country. Kenya has deployed 19 police officers to Somalia to help the African Union in peacekeeping a mission in the war-torn Horn of Africa Croatia. Director of the planning in the National Police Service, Patrick Nwenta, who held a briefing session with the officers on Wednesday told them that they will work under the command of the African Union Transition Mission in Somalia, known as ATMIS. The National Police Service has long history of deploying officers for the peacekeeping missions. They have rendered con a distinguished self -less service on the African continent and around the world aimed at de-escalating violence in the war-torn countries and Rwanda has added the assistance inspector general uh, was accompanied by the deputy director human capital development robert muriti and other senior kenyan police officers the inspector general of the national police service and president of the air force general Assembly Hilary Muyachamba sent his goodwill message to the officers, which was delivered by the Nwanja. The IG urged the officers to display at all times dedication and true commitment in discharging the duties assigned to them. Uh, their father implored the officers to be good ambassadors, not just uh, for the National Police Service, but also for the country. Still following our news in English live from Mogadishu. A preliminary investigation into the recent Juba Airways plane crash at Mogadishu International Airport on July 18th has revealed that the flight data recorder FDR has not yet been recovered from the aircraft. According to a report from the aircraft, Incident investigation branch saw no flight recorders have not been recovered. The FDR records vital information for the flight investigators about what happened in the final moments before the accident. The reporting concluded that the accident was caused by the pilot lost control of the aircraft due to the wind shear as previously expected sources from the Somali's ministry of transportation and civil aviation have told the local media that the investigation into the 
accident was complete. Kamal Abdulaziz Olal, an aircraft maintenance engineer, said that he was surprised uh, to learn that the investigation had concluded without the discovery of the FDR. Anytime there is an aircraft accident, uh, the flight data recorder is what investigators rely on the most to learn what caused it without the information from the recorder. It is hard to believe that the investigation can be closed. He has added that the circumstances under the location of the accident do not explain why the FDR was not found. The plane crashed on the runway uh, and at, at, the, at the up to national airport should be easily recovered when often it is recovered from the open ocean. Another aircraft engineer told the media uh, equally surprised to learn that the FDR was still not found. Uh, Ahmed Osman, an amphibian engineer for the Canadian North Airline, said that all aircraft must have an operational flight data recorder on the pod before flying. It is extremely rare to have an instance where commercial aircraft doesn't have a black box. Uh, there is a serious question is that Somali civil aviation Authorities must answer regarding the safety of domestic flight operation in the light of the accident qualified. The aviation inspector should review all flight operations in Somalia. According to the Global Flight Tracking System, it's too large jet point flight and Airbus had landed runway without accident just uh, 30 minutes after Jubilan Airways uh, plane has crashed at the airport. Uh, the aircraft incident investigation branch report uh, didn't say whether the Fokker 50 was equipped uh, with the FDR installed uh, during uh, the landing at the airport. The Chuba Airways crash is not the first time investigators didn't recover the black box uh, from an aviation incident. In July 2020, Ampera East African Press was allegedly shut down by the Ethiopian forces in by region and not still found uh, the data record. That's all for our today's English News live from Mogadishu. With me, I am Omar Noor and the entire team of the program will leave you bye for now.